All you need for this exercise is a book and your body. There will be three blocks of work, two per block. Your goal is to repeat everything, each block I show you three times through with the amount of repetitions that I gave you, all right? So it'll be a great way that you can hit multiple parts of your body and get your heart rate a little up a little bit from home. So grab your book, something a little thicker if you need to. Options are always that you can do it without a book and just use your body weight. So we're gonna start with a squat press option. Feet outside of the hips, toes turned out slightly. Put the book down, we'll lift the chest, shoulders down. This should sound familiar for body pump, my friends. You're gonna do one squat, knees out, hips back. Press to the ceiling. Down and up. Option on this to lift the heart rate a little higher would be to lift the heels. Stack the shoulders right over the hips. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. Anytime we go overhead, our heart rates are gonna go up. Biggest important thing, keep that chest up, keep that ab brace on. 15 repetitions of that move. Second move in the block, we hit the core. So set the knees over hips, take the book straight up overhead, shins are parallel to the floor, abs on, press the back down. Extend the front leg to a 45 degree angle, take the book overhead. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. So 15 per leg on this, which means 30 repetitions total. And that's block one. Block two, if you're going to take your book, you are going to do some push-ups with the book. So set it down. For those of you that do body pump, you know our walking push-ups. Very similar move here, but we're gonna use the book. So knees, option on the toes, or you can bring those knees a little closer. Hands outside of the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in. Give me one push up. Walk up and over the book. Push up on the other side. Up and over. Make sure you're driving through the heel of the hand to press the book down and pull the elbows out of the ears towards the ribs. Keep those abs nice and tight. Good work. 15 of those as well. Second move in block two is a lunge with a twist. So hip square, feet hip distance, chest up. Take the left leg back, push the book forward. Hips stay still, twist the upper body to the corner. Forward, switch. Step back, twist the other direction. So every time that book and the twist goes over the top leg, shoulders down, hip square, really targeting the strength in the lower legs to support and then the power of the rotation through the thoracic spine. Nice work. Block two is done, 15 of those as well, guys. Block three, we're gonna lift the heart rate just a little bit more and then end with a plank. So hold the book here, feet outside of hips. We are going to jump forward, press the book, step back. Jump forward, step back. As you jump, sit back into a squat. So hips back and down, use the knees to absorb. Option if you don't want to jump. Out, down, up, step back. Out, down, up, step back. All right, last move of the block. We're gonna do our lovely walking plank. So, for those of you that come to CX Works, we set up that plank position. I actually turn the book so it's a little wider, so your hands are under your shoulders. Brace the abs, squeeze the hips. Now we are going to walk down to a hover. So elbow, elbow, drive the elbows to the floor, pull the shoulders out of the ears, hips nice and square, and we're gonna walk up. Right arm, left arm. So hold 10 seconds, walk down. Hold 10 seconds, walk up. This can also be done from the knees as well if you feel your belly sinks towards the floor. Again guys, three blocks of work, 15 repetitions per move, and do that three times through. And you guys will be in good shape. Can't wait to see you again, and if you have questions, 
Cheers up. Have a great day.